In this video, you will learn about the components and assembly procedures to prepare the advanced combat helmet for use with a PVS-7 or a PVS-14 night vision device. The components are the ACH and the PVS-14 bracket, which comes in beige or black. The beige or black brackets do not contain any inscriptions or stamps on the inside surface of the stabilizing fingers. Take note. The Enhanced Combat Helmet PVS-14 bracket has an inscripted E, or echo, on the inside surface of the stabilizing fingers, or a stamped E, or echo, through the stabilizing fingers. The other component is the ACH PVS-14 ballistic screw. The ACH PVS-14 ballistic screw is the preferred screw for the helmet and night vision device configuration. Take note. The small black screw with silver receptacle is not ballistically qualified and thus not safe for use in live fire training or combat operations. Also, you may have a ballistic screw with a sloped head and a self-locking nut. The sloped head can be either tan or black. These screws are ballistically qualified and are safe for use during live fire training or combat operations. However, they should not be used during air assault operations. This is how to assemble the ACH PVS-14 bracket to the ACH with the PVS-14 ballistic screw. Ensure that your advanced combat helmet is completely assembled with the pad suspension system, retention system, and helmet cover. Remove the front trapezoidal pad to allow easy access to the night vision device mounting location. Take the PVS-14 ballistic screw and pass it through the mounting location from the inside of the helmet to the outside of the helmet, ensuring it is clearly visible on the exterior of the helmet. Note. The helmet cover may need to be adjusted to allow the screw to pass through the pre-sewn slit in the helmet cover. Take the ACH PVS-14 bracket and slide the stabilizing fingers over the brim of the helmet and align the center of the bracket over the ACH PVS-14 ballistic screw. Take the PVS-14 ballistic nut and align the oval flat portion of the nut with the oval flat portion of the PVS-14 bracket and the ballistic screw. Manipulate the bracket and screw with your fingers until you can start threading the bolt onto the screw. Once the screw is engaged with the threads of the nut, use a coin or standard tip screwdriver to tighten the ballistic screw until the tip of the ballistic bolt is flush or near flush with the top of the ballistic nut. If you can see more than one thread in the ballistic nut, then the assembly is not secure. Do not tighten the bolt beyond the tip of the ballistic nut because this will prevent mounting of the night vision device to the bracket. If you have an enhanced combat helmet ballistic screw instead of the advanced combat helmet screw, the screw will protrude and prevent application of the night vision device to the bracket. Application of anti-seize compound onto the screw prior to installation is authorized and will prevent loosening over time and use. Regardless of whether anti-seize compound is applied or not, pre-combat checks should examine the tightness of the bolt and nut prior to all operational uses. Replace the front trapezoidal pad, taking care to ensure that the narrow portion of the pad is inserted closest toward the top of the helmet, and the widest portion of the pad is aligned to cover the stabilizing fingers of the PVS-14 bracket.
This is how to assemble the PVS-7 and PVS-14 bracket to the ACH with the alternate ballistic screw. Take the advanced combat helmet with the pad suspension system, retention system, and helmet cover. Remove the front trapezoidal pad to allow easy access to the night vision device mounting location. Take the ACH PVS-14 bracket and slide the stabilizing fingers over the brim of the helmet and align the center of the bracket over the mounting location. Take the alternate PVS-14 ballistic screw and pass it through the bracket into the mounting location from the exterior of the helmet to the interior of the helmet. Rotate the bolt and press toward the helmet until it is firmly seated into the PVS-14 bracket and sufficient threads protrude from the interior of the helmet to allow application of the self-locking nut. Thread the self-locking nut onto the bolt by hand until snug. Using a 3 8 inch socket or end wrench, tighten until secure with at least some thread engagement in the white self-locking ring on the exterior of the self-locking nut. Serious injury may result if the nut is tightened until the shaft of the bolt protrudes from the self-locking nut. Warning: If you have an enhanced combat helmet ballistic screw instead of the advanced combat helmet screw, the screw will protrude and place you at risk of injury or death. Warning: Do not use this bolt configuration for air assault operations. Because of the self-locking nut, application of anti-seize compound onto the screw prior to installation is not necessary to prevent loosening over time and use. Pre-combat checks should examine the tightness of the bolt and nut prior to all operational uses. Replace the front trapezoidal pad, taking care to ensure that the narrow portion of the pad is inserted closest towards the top of the helmet and the widest portion of the pad is aligned to cover the stabilizing fingers of the PVS-14 bracket. 